Hello everyone, it's Kenneth here. Welcome to my quick simulation review of Smackdown, June 14th. And as I wrote on Facebook a week ago, I'm not gonna make payback because I'm leaving on a holiday. And that's how it's gonna be, so don't cry about it. Smackdown started off with Daniel Bryan calling out his tag team partner Kane and telling Kane that Kane is the weakest link in their tag team. When Kane was about to chokeslam Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton came out and said that he needed Daniel Bryan for payback. Then the Shield showed themselves on the Tron and said that they were unstoppable. Next moment. The Celtic warrior Sheamus went one on one against Antonio Cesaro. In the middle of the match, Sheamus hit a bro kick and picked up the win. After the match, he got attacked by Damian Sandow, his opponent at payback. Next moment. Dolph Ziggler talked to Theodore Long about his return to in ring action. Then Big E Langston eated Theodore's burger. Typisk Americanere. Next moment. The great Carl Lee went one on one against three man Rockman member Heath Slater. Heath Slater hit a DDT and picked up the win against the great Carl Lee. What a joke. Next moment. Alberto Del Rio teamed up with Y2J Chris Jericho to take on Big E Langston and the World Heavyweight Champion Dolph Ziggler. Dolph left the title at home. At the end of the match, Del Rio rolled up Dolph Ziggler and they picked up the win. What a horrible return they gave Ziggler. Next moment. Curtis Axel went one on one against the Intercontinental Champion Wade Barrett. At the start of the match, Wade Barrett tried to talk business with Paul Heyman. Wade said that Curtis Axel didn't need this match. But then the Miss came out and said that they wanted to see them fight. Then at the end of the match, Curtis Axel hit a neckbreaker on Wade Barrett and picked up the win. Still undefeated. After the match, the Miss hit a skull crushing finale on Curtis Axel. And the final moment is here. The United States Champion Dean Ambrose and the WWE Tag Team Champions Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, The Shield, went 3-on-3 three three against Randy Orton and Team Hell No. At the end of the match, Daniel Bryan hit a no-lock on Seth Rollins and for the first time ever, The Shield lost in a six-man tag team match. Show over. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the professional poser, 